don't even know how to start this. Been a weekend warrior, working all week and on the weekends. It's been nothing but rain. Horrible. I've been hunting, but I haven't been filming. Seeing small little bucks. But today's Friday. We did some scouting the other day with the spotlights. It was pouring rain just to see what we would see. All we seen was dough. But what I'm doing today, they're supposed to be pre rutting is something I never do. Is I'm actually in a spot where I see a ton of dough. And I'm going to sit here all weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Something's got to come through. And the good news is, I got a 9P tag. Thanks to my buddy Manny. So if a mama doe comes through, we might take her too. But it's about 70 degrees. It's supposed to rain tomorrow morning and then be perfect tomorrow night. So I'm pretty excited for that. It's early, it's only like 12.30, 12.45. I got my kid on the bus and I rushed right here. So I'm gonna sit the whole day, see what I see. Can't promise you a lot of footage. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm glad to be filming again. But like I say, let me shut up. Let's see what happens didn't end up seeing anything at high hopes now the reason why I like that spot is to my strong side I'm a right-handed shooter so on my left side is a creek kind of swampy real swampy and in certain areas it widens up but the spot I picked it's like 10 yards and another reason why I chose it is the under canopy the brush is very very thick for about 50 to 75 yards all in that area and now on the other side of the creek it's pretty steep it goes straight uphill in some areas there so it funnels them deer right down the edge of that creek and then cross where I am there's tons of doe I'm getting on camera there so if they're pre rutting something's bound to walk by there now I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Matt he had an awesome buck really nice deer and um I left my stand and everything in the tree, so depending on the weather is tomorrow morning, it's calling for rain from 4 a.m. all the way to 11 a.m., a downpour. If it's not bad, I'm going to jump in a stand early in the morning, but it's not supposed to rain from 11 a.m. till like 3 in the morning, and then Sunday it's supposed to downpour all day long. So my opinion, what I'm feeling is if I get in there after that rain, I think it'll be perfect timing and everything will start moving in there if they're pre-rutting but who knows I don't know for sure everybody's saying they are but we'll see normally I don't personally see the rutting until the beginning of November so we're gonna get after it tomorrow though He just walked by. <laughs> I got a shot off at him. He came directly down the creek, but instead of walking this way, he came this way. And he ran behind the camera. I didn't hear him crash though. I could see my arrow. It was a 30 yard shot. It hit him. I don't know where it hit though. I aimed for the front shoulder. All 
man, I hope I got him. I'm not going to push him. It's going to be cold. He was a nice deer. I didn't even get it on camera. It happened so quick. I'm shaking. So right now it's about 6 in the morning. I backed off. I didn't go after him at all. I probably went 20 yards. Just the way he reacted, I didn't want to risk it. So he went 20 yards after I shot and stopped. I tried to get another arrow. Then he went another 20, stopped again, and just walked. I feel it was a liver hit. So once I got back to camp, I actually contacted an app called Tracker. And I have a tracker named Tristan with his dog actually coming to the spot. He should be there about 6.30, so I'm going to head there now. So hopefully we can get on him. But we do have an issue. We're 300 yards away, 400 yards the direction he went. There's private property. And I tried to get permission last night, and the guy just started swearing at me, calling me all types of names, telling me to get off his property. And I was only doing what I was asked to do. I mean, I understand it's your property, bud, but come on, we're all hunters. I don't want to end up on his property and then the deer just, there's nothing we can do. So, fingers crossed that he didn't go that far. He's dead closer. But let me head out. Let's go see if we can find this bad boy. So we didn't end up finding him. We tracked him for probably 800, 900 yards. We had blood for like the first 80 yards. Then he went into the swamp. And the swamp was probably 50 yards or 50 feet wide. And after the swamp, getting across that, the dog was on his trail. But we didn't find any blood after that. And he went straight uphill. So that tells me he was not hurt as bad as I thought. I don't know what happened. It felt good. It just sucks not getting them. Like, we all go through this, but he was a nice deer. I would have loved him. I would have got him mounted.
a pretty fun set. We seen one doe, and she made her way across the creek or the pond. And then about 20 minutes later, three more came out. I really like this spot. They did what I wanted them to do. Everything on the other side. And oh, a buck would set check this side of the pond. But we still got 40 minutes left. So it could still happen. But we marked it on Onyx. And we're gonna leave our stuff here. We're gonna sneak in in the morning. And we're gonna hope everything comes on this side of the pond to make it to that side of the pond. That's why I like hunting spots you've never been before, because you never know what you're gonna see. It just makes it that more fun.